the experiment that we've been doing is to explore how uh, taking uh, this a cube, uh, this represents a cube of silver, the actual cube is a micron, much, much smaller than this. A micron is 1 50th the diameter of a human hair. And we use a hard surface, a silicon, and we impact this cube onto the surface at different orientations. The face orientation, an edge orientation, or a corner orientation. And then we study the subsequent deformation of the cube. And because we have this apparatus that has a, a laser to launch the, the micron-sized particles up to a kilometer per second, so faster than bullets. We can actually control and selectively choose which cubes we want to shoot and what velocities we want to shoot the cubes at. We're here now on a, on a focused ion beam uh, scanning electron microscope. Uh, a nice facility here that we have at Rice that allows us to look at these cubes that are really quite small and see the details of the deformation. This is a cube that was impacted in a 110 direction along an edge and you can see that this conforms to some certain symmetry directions in the external side and also you can see the slip systems that are characteristic of the intrinsic crystal structure. So the crystal structure inside is a face centered cubic uh, structure. So that leads to this kind of slip systems forming over there showing this very interesting deformation. So this suggests some extreme events must have happened inside. So we'll take a very thin cross section about 100 nanometer and look at it in the transmission electron microscope. Basically what we see here is that silver atoms are rearranged and uh, changes in order to accommodate such a huge deformation uh, by forming some dislocations, many dislocations, different kinds of defects that we can see it here and also we can see it in these images here. And the reason we're doing this is because we're trying to attempt to make a gradient nanostructure because we believe that will improve uh, mechanical properties. And in mechanical properties, the things most people care about are strength and toughness. Strength is, you know, the, the ability for the material to withstand straf, stress and not deform. Toughness is the ability of the material to absorb a lot of energy so it doesn't fracture right away and therefore you get a lot of protection like in a car crash or bulletproof armor. Normally when you increase the strength, the toughness goes down. Or when you increase the toughness, the strength goes down. And our approach here to make these gradient nanostructured materials is to be able to both increase the strength and simultaneously increase the toughness to make materials which are unprecedented in their mechanical properties.